Welcome back everyone to another fails preparation, this time of oxalochloride. For this you're going to need 122 milliliters of benzoyl chloride and 43.5 grams of an hydrosoxalic acid. Benzoyl chloride is one of the chemicals that laboratorium discounter is now selling as an ultra pure chemical, so make sure to check out their store and if you do, use my discount code. Anyways, what's cool about it is that benzoyl chloride is a liquid, while benzoic acid is a solid. Benzoic acid is a solid because hydrogen bonds can develop and with benzoyl chloride this is not going to happen. While I started out, I didn't know how much oxalic acid I had and therefore I weighed it out first. If you want to see how I made the anhydrous oxalic acid, you can find the video link in the description. I made it using a drying pistol. We don't want the oxalic acid to suck up water again. Therefore we added a drying tube containing anhydrous calcium chloride. I never worked with benzoyl chloride before, I was amazed that it didn't fume that much, but it still fumed. It smells somewhat like benzaldehyde. We measured out 122 milliliters using a measuring cylinder. I was careful at first, because I thought maybe the oxalic acid still contains some water and this could lead to a runaway reaction, but I added it and nothing bad happened. As this was a 100 milliliter measuring cylinder, the rest was measured out in a second run. You can again see how little the benzoyl chloride fumes. Of course there were still a few drops of leftover benzoyl chloride, so I added water to see if the reaction was violent, but nothing happens, not even fumes. When I looked more closely, I was able to see that there are droplets of benzoyl chloride floating around in the water. It's way less reactive than I anticipated. A hot plate was set up and we added the most important ingredient for this reaction, a stir fish. I continued by setting up a simple distillation and then flushed the distillation bridge with water. Heating and stirring were turned on and I set the hot plates to between 150 and 160 degrees celsius. As it is extremely cold outside, I hope to help the reaction to go along by wrapping the apparatus in aluminum foil. After half an hour I noticed that something was terribly wrong. A lot of hydrogen chloride was generated and leaving the apparatus and we collected this much liquid. For this reason I stopped the entire process because something was going wrong and we are not ending up with any product. Whatever these leftovers were I put them into a beaker and let them cool down. It turned into a solid block. Normally you can make low boiling acid chlorides using this method. You add some benzoyl chlorides, whatever acids and you simply distill off the acid chlorides and benzoic acid remains behind. But I guess what happened is that we got a mixed acid and hydrides because the amount of hydrogen chloride generated it was massive. So this does not work if you want to make oxal chloride. If you want to make it, you have to go with the conventional methods of using anhydrous oxalic acid and phosphorus pentachloride. I hope that you learned something new today and that you learned something from my failure because I think it is very important to show the parts of the experiments that don't go as planned. If you did like it, make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time.